In this video, I show you another example of how to convert, how to write down a linear context-free rewriting system for the given language. As before, I will start with the with the start symbol. It will well if you have a look at the language, it's it's a to the power of n, b to the power of n, c d to the power of n, and e to the power of n. And n is allowed to be zero. So I can why I can easily add that uh, means if everything is zero, we have the empty string, and I can easily add the empty string to the language with the following rule ns, which is instantiated with an empty string, and it doesn't depend on any other items. Now we have the empty string in the language. And for the other cases where the language is not empty, I need another rule where S puts together an arbitrary string and I need another symbol that generates me those strings. And now my idea is, well, I have some, I have those A to the power of N, B to the power of N, C to the power of N, cd to the power of n, sorry, and e to the power of n. So my idea is that I will have that I will have four strings that where everyone uh, generates me the the spe specific terminals, and I will put together like this: w x y and z. Now I want my I want those A to generate me all those four strings. So A shall generate me the, the W that includes the A, the X that includes the B, the Y that includes the C and the D, and the Z string that includes the E. Now I will start with the simplest rule, where I will have the A with four different, instantiated with four different strings that doesn't depend on any other rule. And I want it to be, I want them to be instantiated with an A. So in the first string, with the B in the second. C and D in the third, and E in the fourth. Now I need the recursive rule, where I have where A generates me again any four strings, and this one depends on another A, and I will just use the same colors for that. So here would the A will have generated the W string, which includes any number of A's, and I wanted to, I want to add just any other A to it. And it doesn't matter if I put the A first or last, it just adds another A to any number of A's that might be already there. Then the A generates also the X string, where I will just add another B to it. And the Y string, where I will just add another CD to it. And the Z, where we just add another Z to it. Now we have the grammar for the grammar in LCFS for this language. But um, actually, this one is way too complicated. I will now show you another solution to that, which is even simpler. So first, I I need I still need to include the empty string. That's the same as in the first grammar, in the first solution. Now I have another idea, and let me just mark that with blue and I don't know with 
with purple or something second half or oh, with, with that color now I want to create the S symbol I want to create the string for the whole sentence or for the whole word and now I will have an A item which just generates me two different strings where uh, let's call them X they will be put together by the by the S X and Y and now the the simple the simple rule for the A that generates two strings will look like this it doesn't depend on anything in the first position the X I will generate the A and the B and at the, in the second string I will generate the C the D and the E all at the same time now have a look at the recursive rule will depend on another A item which generates two strings X and Y now I will write down the X in the middle and I will append the A before and the B behind it and now if you just imagine what will happen if I if I start with this item generating A and B in the first string position this will be given by that X now I will have A and B in, K in the place of the X and I will have another A before and another B after that so I will be left with A, A, B, B and if I do it one more time I will have three A's and three B's so I will just have the same as the uh, as the task asked me to do. Now with C, D and E it's a similar. I write the Y in the middle, I append the E at the end and I append C and D before that and now imagine it's it's pretty much the same. When I first start with that I have Y which is C, D, E and when I include that here I will have C, D, C, D, E and if I do it one more time then I will have three times CD and three times E and so on and so on and it will be just the same as the language that I'm supposed to write down in as an LCFRS. So this is this are two solutions for this language in for uh, so this are these are two solutions for LCFRS that generate this language.